I, I want to share with you a little bit of good news. A lot of good news, actually. You know, I started 76 Research, and that was in conjunction with my, my dear friend, Rob Horton, who's a brilliant stock picker. And I'll show you how brilliant he is, because I just want to, we just came out with the three-month quarterly report. It's the end of summer. And take a look at this. All the portfolios are up, but I just wanted to show you here on the Income Builder portfolio, which so many of you have subscribed to, and you get, and you're following our stock picks on that, smart because you're making money. And I know a lot of you have said in the chat, yeah, 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 you know, I'm in the income builder and it's doing great. Well, all of them are doing great, but this one really is a superstar right now. We've got all the stocks in the portfolio trading higher. Median stock return has been 15% versus the S&P over the last three months, only 6%. And look at that stock number one, up 26%, up 22%, up 20%, up 19%, up 16%. So I, I'm super proud of this. And I want you to have the opportunity to get the right advice as well. It's why I started this company. It's why it's so important to me. Listen, I've worked in the financial space my entire career, first starting on Wall Street and then going into financial journalism. And one of the things that has always troubled me is the lack of people that are really engaged in the markets. And you're missing out. You are missing out because it's kind of stacked. Frankly, it kind of, dare I say, against the middle class. You've heard me talk about the hourglass economy, a lot on top, a lot on the bottom, and that middle class getting squeezed. And part of the reason is not everybody's invested, right? You're not part of the investing class. So consequently, capital, which is money that's getting put to work, has more power than the labor itself. And that is increasingly troubling. And, you know, Kamala doesn't care about those people in, in between. She cares about those on the bottom and she cares about the donors on the top. Well, the donors are going to be just fine, right? Because you get the Federal Reserve there cutting rates again, which is going to be inflationary to the stock market. So you have to think about how all these things balance out. You got to think about the economic policy that's going to come into being, how that's going to affect you, how it's going to affect your portfolio. And so again, I'm just super proud. We're killing it this last three months, ending August 29th, so that would have been at the close of trading just yesterday. This is the income builder portfolio at 76research.com, 76research.com. Each one of the portfolios has like 10 to 15 stocks in them. And what you see is uh, basically us kind of handholding and walking you through what you should be buying and what you should be investing in. So you're not actually investing with us. I should make that very, very clear. This is research and research only, but you know what? On Wall Street, they pay tens of thousands of dollars for this research. And, and you know, Rob knows because he ran a mutual fund, billions of dollars in mutual fund for 20 some odd years. And they subscribe to all this research and they spend tons and tons of money. And I'm like, wait a second here. Like we need to democratize this in some way, shape or form. We need to be able to bring this to more people. So that has been my goal. And so many of you have signed up and so many of you have made money. So that makes me very, 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 very happy. My goal is to help you build something long-term that can make you reliant on yourself. Instead of Uncle Sam or Auntie, Auntie Kamala. Oh my gosh, guys. Did you see that part of the interview where she was like, oh, you know, here's how I got the news that Biden was dropping out. I found out because, you know, I was making pancakes and bacon with my nieces. I'm sort of surprised. I didn't think they ate bacon. Weren't they all like vegan or something? <laughs> anyway, back to the bacon. She's making bacon. And, you know, I'll tell you, maybe I'm the only one. Maybe it's just me. Maybe my head just goes there. But I'm like, yeah, they were asking for more bacon. Makes me think of Congress asking for more bacon, more fat, more money to spend, just like we got with the Inflation Reduction Act. I'm sorry, but that's immediately what I did. The story didn't make any sense to me. I don't think she was making pancakes and bacon, but just the idea of like, give me, give me, give me. Like, I, I, there's something that just kind of sat the wrong way. Did any guys, any of you think about that? I mean, maybe, maybe it's just me. I like bacon, by the way. I got nothing against bacon. I eat it often on Saturday mornings, <laughs> which uh, I'll look forward to this weekend.